guys and welcome back to my channel. I really hope you did like my little Christmas intro sort of thing before this video started. I wasn't going to start my Christmas stuff until the end of November but I thought you know what I'm in such a Christmas mood. Everyone's in a Christmas mood so I might as well start it now. I also have snowflakes in my background. I don't know if you can see. Little snowflakes. I'm feeling proper Christmassy right now. Now talking of Christmas today I'm going to be doing a Christmas sort of tutorial and this is going to be the first Christmas tutorial. Only have I ever done this year. I think that I've ever done. I don't think I've ever done a Christmas eye tutorial. Last year, I don't think I did it at all. Wow, okay. And I'm going to be using the Soap Does Nails X Makeup Revolution palette. This is what the palette looks like. Like, as you can see, it is so incredibly Christmassy. And we just, those colours are incredible. I did do a review on this palette a couple of months ago. So if you want to watch my first impressions, etc., then I'll leave it in the cards up here or in the description bar below. Super affordable. It is cruelty free, obviously, as always. And it's drugstore. So it's one of my favourites. It's also £10. Like, I just love affordable eyeshadow palettes that are so pigmented and that are just incredible for the price. Like, you genuinely don't need a high-end palette to create, like, banging looks. So, if you want to know how I got this look using this palette, then feel free to keep on watching. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. What fun is to ride in one else up and slay. Hey, I wasn't going to do my Christmas background yet, but it kind of just happened. I don't know if you can see, but I've got snowflakes in the background. That's as Christmassy as I'm going, apart from my reindeer antlers. Look at them. Look at them, bad boys. They're making a comeback. If you watch my videos from like a year ago, you'll know that I watched. I watched. So today, I'm going to be doing a look using my new favourite, actually. When I first got this, I was like, yeah, it's good. I'll use it. It's a standard palette. And then I've gravitated towards it a lot, and I've realised how many looks you can create with this. I was like, it's actually a really good palette. Look at these colours for Christmas. Please ignore the highlights that ended up dipping in it. Especially that. We are going to be using that today. I think this is the shade, shade Pine Tree or something. That is like incredibly pretty for a shimmer. That is just stunning. But first, as always, I'm going to prime and prep my eyes. And I'm going to do that using my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Oh, I need to go and get my beauty blender. Put it back. Don't ask me why I decided to film in jeans. This is very uncomfortable right now, but I'm going out straight after this video. Now that it's Christmas, I want to start filming three times a week. I did do a couple of polls on my Twitter. If you don't follow my Twitter, I'll be in the description bar below. I did do a qu couple of polls and ask like what kind of things you'd be wanting around Christmas because I have so many Christmas ideas. I'm just gonna set that in place with my powder. Now that my eyes are all set and we've got a base, I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette and hold on, let me get a brush. And just to make sure that that is fully set, I think I'm gonna go in with this colour here. I don't have the shade names anymore, I'm really sorry, but if you want to see my first video and the review and all that, I'll leave that in the cards up here or in the description bar below. Get this like neutral sort of nude sort of colour and then next I'm going to take this shade up Ooh, I just stabbed my finger in it next I'm going to take this shade up here off the top of my head I think this is shade cup of tea this is like a gorgeous like orangey nudie sort of colour it is so pigmented I also forgot to add that this palette is literally £10 as well I'm just going to use this as my transition shade going to keep building this up a little bit because it is pigmented I'm not saying it's not but I like to build it up to a nice color that's the thing about this palette is it's so buildable with the shade I feel like it's even so pretty on its own like if you just want a low-key kind of look and this is you gal to go in with this shade down here this like red sort of shade but like a pinky sort of tone to it I don't know how to explain it Yes, pull through pretty colours blending together. I'm just going to blend this up a little bit. I'm just going to take the first brush that we used that had cup of tea on, just blend it in with that red that we just used. I'm really liking like how red and like festive this look is. I know it's only in the middle of November, but let's be real here, it is kind of nearly Christmas. I'm going to deepen everything up a little bit and I'm going to go with this like dark red shade at the top. Just give you a little swatch of this. This is what it looks like. Like you can tell it's a lot of a deeper darker red than the other one that we used. For a matte, that is rather quite pigmented. I'm losing all my brushes today. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush for this because I can really like sort of get in the crease. <laughs> what was this? Windscreen wipers, windscreen wipers. I'm just gonna keep dipping in just to make it a lot deeper because I really want this to be like really red and like berryish. This is the way to Amarillo. 
now. Every night I've been hugging my pillow. I'm gonna cut my crease and I'm gonna use this festive colour here. We swatched first. I'm gonna cut my crease and to cut my crease I'm gonna use this. Last Imperfection again. Putting my crease is like a new phenomenon for me because I never did it and I never normally do it. So why not? Oh, there we go. Oh, if that doesn't explain my life, then I don't know what does. I can't believe it. Why? Just a mess. Now I'm going to take this green shade and I'm actually gonna wet this and that is because these shades are super pigmented like even when you don't wet your brush but I feel like wetting the brush gives it an extra sort of pop and I kind of want that extra sort of pop because it's Christmas and we just want to pop it, lock it, polka dot it, you know what I mean. Now I am gonna wet my brush using my Primark PS Primer Water. This was two pounds and I know I mentioned this in the video before but I actually found out that Primark's makeup is cruelty free. I'm just gonna pop it like where we've cut the crease. For a £10 eyeshadow palette, this shimmer is just so shimmery. It's so Christmassy. Now I'm just going to go and do the same with the other eye. I feel like this is just so Christmassy. Can I just remind you, it was literally £10 and we created like such a Christmassy sort of look. The quality is so incredible for the price. Obviously I will leave the link to where you can buy this in the description bar below. If you are interested in buying it, off the top of my head you can buy it from tanbeauty.com or superdrug.com. And now I'm going to do my lower lash line just to finish it all off and inner corner highlight. For the lash line we're going to take this dark sort of colour here and it's this like really dark brown sort of colour. Just got that on my teddy bear throat. <laughs> nice one Becca. Okay, that wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, but I feel like it still works. I do my mascara and my lips. I'm going to use inner corner highlight. For inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this one here. It's like a gorgeous, like, silvery shimmer shade. For this, I'm also going to wet my brush. I've just dripped it on my ripped jeans, and I've got holes, obviously, in my ripped jeans. Oh my gosh. Like, normally, I'm not one for, like, a popping inner corner highlight, but that is, like, popping. I found that with this palette last time as well. And for mascara, I'm going to use one of my favorite favorites and this is my nip and fab mascara i'm just hoping that when it comes to mascara i don't mess this whole look up we've seemed to have saved every bad thing that has gone on this look but mascara is just another kettle of fish for me Okay, so now I'm going to finish off with lipstick, and for lipstick I'm using a new one. I was going to go for like a bold red lip, but then I thought, you know what, I've got a new lipstick, so I'm going to give it a try. This is a NYX matte lipstick. This is in the shade Butter. If you're subscribed to my vlogging channel, you'll know that like I bought this the other day, and I did vlog about it, so if you're not subscribed to my vlogging channel, then feel free to. It'll be in the cards up here or in the description bar below. As always, how many times do I say that in a video? I've used this before. It reminds me a little bit of Stone from MAC and also NYX are cruelty free, so. I actually really like this lipstick. This lipstick, it isn't too dark, but it's not too light either. I just feel like it's just the perfect in-between. Sort of colour that I love. Feels so Christmassy. Yay! So, this is the finished look that I came out with. As always, I will leave all the items that I used in this video in the description bar below. I really like the look that I came out with. I feel like it's so incredibly Christmassy. Like, if you go into a Christmas party or you just feel like doing Christmas makeup or it's Christmas Eve and you just feel like doing something a little bit different, then I feel like this is perfect for that really hope you did enjoy this video if you did please smash it a big thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and also feel free to tap the bell down below so you are notified every single time i post a new video just in case it doesn't go into your sub boxes also i really hope you did like my christmas sort of intro it took me a while but I did it. Also, all my social media links will be linked in the description bar below, so if you want to give me a follow on any of them, then feel free to. Once again, thank you so incredibly much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!